When the B-36 is airborne, the trapeze mechanism is controlled by an operator who observes the entire procedure through a special window located in the pressure bulkhead between the camera compartment and the forward bomb bay. A switch at the top left of the panel is actuated for extension or retraction of the trapeze. The center switch applies hydraulic pressure to maintain the trapeze in the extended position. The switch at the bottom is used for raising or lowering the boom for retrieving or launching of the F-84. As the trapeze operator makes preparations for launching, the pilot, assisted by a crew member, leaves the camera compartment and enters the parasite aircraft. The F-84 pilot advises the trapeze operator by radio when he is ready for the trapeze to be extended. At this point, the operator actuates the extension switch, which also unlatches the trapeze from the stowed position. During the flight tests, radio contact was maintained at all times between the F-84E, the trapeze operator, and the RB-36 pilot. After he reaches the extended position, the fighter pilot accomplishes an air start and checks his instruments and controls. When he is satisfied that the aircraft is operating normally, he requests that the launching operation be initiated. Release of the aft latches is then accomplished either by the pilot of the parasite or by the trapeze operator. As soon as the latches are open, the boom down switch is actuated and the aircraft is lowered to the launching position. Release from the single point attachment is accomplished by the pilot of the parasite at his discretion. To perform the retrieving operation, the F-84 pilot lines the probe up with the drogue on the boom. He then increases speed to accomplish the single point attachment. After the initial hook-on has been made, the trapeze operator actuates the boom-up switch, which raises the parasite to a point where the aft latches are engaged. To maintain alignment of the F-84E between the aft latches of the boom, the trapeze operator directs the pilot of the parasite to move right or left. Mechanical indicators visible to the trapeze operator and green lights visible to the pilot of the parasite indicate when the aft latches are locked. Several release and retrieve operations were completed to evaluate this critical phase of the parasite program. When the parasite is attached at the single point, it has a Dutch roll tendency which can be readily controlled by the pilot. A rate type damper installed in the yaw and roll axes of the control system aids in reducing the Dutch roll tendency. Tests proved that this damper system was not necessary for the F-84E aircraft. The majority of the retrieving operations have been made using only the manual control. Release and retrieve operations were successfully accomplished at indicated air speeds ranging from 180 to 230 miles per hour. The pilot of the F-84E during these flight tests was Major C.E. Anderson 
of the WADC Flight Test Division. Prior to the retraction from the extended position, the engine of the F-84E is shut down. Actuation of the trapeze up switch then hydraulically retracts the main lifting jack to raise the parasite to the stowed position. In this position, the pilot of the F-84 opens the canopy and steps out onto a catwalk in the bomb bay of the RB-36. After closing the canopy, the pilot proceeds along the catwalk and enters the camera compartment of the carrier aircraft. In order to extend the gear of the carrier aircraft prior to landing, the parasite must be lowered to the extended position. If the trapeze is inoperative, the parasite can be jettisoned. The pilot of the parasite remains in the B-36 during the landings and takeoffs. These flight tests have demonstrated that the parasite operation can be accomplished with a straight wing fighter under favorable conditions. Additional tests will include operation at night in turbulent air and with a swept wing parasite. Since the RF-84F is not available, Consolidated Vaulty Aircraft, in conjunction with Republic Aviation Corporation, is currently modifying a swept wing YF-84F to a parasite configuration. Flights with this aircraft are scheduled for the fall of 1952 for the purpose of evaluating the low speed characteristics of a swept wing F-84 during parasite operation. Flight tests of Project MX-1602 have indicated that the production RB-36-RF-84F combination will provide the United States Air Force with a long-range reconnaissance capability utilizing the high-speed performance of the RF-84F to maximize survival over enemy territory. 